how am I playing on the cruise? What is DGEN's attack for beating the craps tables on the cruise? Let's find out. I'll take you inside the mind of the DGEN and we'll see how I am setting up for success on the cruise. What is up my DGENs? Chris, the Dice DGEN here. And as you can tell by the title of the video, we're gonna be talking about the cruise. Yes, DGEN is going on vacation again, all right? It is what it is. DGEN is going on vacation. This one, uh, last trip was a family trip. This one is with girlfriend DGEN. So we're gonna be having some fun on this trip. Uh, there's a cruise involved, there's an 11 day cruise. There's some uh, time in cities before and after, but it's an 11 day cruise. So I want to talk about how I'm going to play on the cruise, all right? I want to make this video also because I want you to get inside my head a little bit and kind of how I plan for these things, okay? It's not just a normal trip to the casino, right? It's an 11 day cruise. There will also be a stop uh, in Monte Carlo. So the casino there, I plan on playing there as well. So. There's a possibility for 12 days worth of craps. All right. Will I play all 12 days? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but I want to be prepared to play for all 12 days. So first thing that I will be doing. All right. Envelopes. There's only four here. I have more upstairs. Just didn't bring them all down. Envelopes. Each envelope will have my daily bankroll in it. I'm bringing one large bankroll, right? Or bringing a bankroll. Okay. It depends what you consider large, all right? But I'm bringing a bankroll and I'm gonna divide it between these envelopes. These will stay in the safe on the boat. I will open one for the day. If I happen to lose it, that's it. All right, we're not digging into the other envelopes. We are opening one envelope per day and that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, I don't have to touch most of the envelopes. All right, my plan is, to win my win goal and then use that the rest of the trip. We'll see if it works out for me or not. Um, but my, my purpose in saying this is to be prepared, right? I'm not going to bring, let's, let's say I'm bringing $5,000. I'm not going to the table the first night and bringing 5k and dropping it on the table. All right. That will be split up between each day. So envelopes will be labeled. There will be a set amount of money in each envelope. And that will be my daily bankroll to play with. I will be playing craps. I may play some other games as well. Um, I'm looking at possibly entering a Texas Hold'em tournament. So that might be in there as well. Uh, there might be some blackjack play. There'll be some other play. All right. But uh, that you usually be with winnings. Uh, I'm going to keep try to keep my bankroll separate for craps and other games. But I have a bankroll per day. All right. So that's number one. Number two, strategies that I'm playing. All right. I'm not going to say I'm going to go out there and play this strategy the entire time because as you guys know, you have to adjust the table conditions. You have to adjust to what's happening, uh, the trends that are happening on the table. So I'm going to tell you the few strategies that I am bringing with me in my head. Obviously, I have a lot of strategies thanks to all of the YouTube content providers as well as some things that I've put out myself, obviously, that are in my tool belt that are ready to go. All right. Carpenter doesn't show up to a job with just a hammer, all right? A builder doesn't show up with just a piece of wood. Doctor doesn't show up with just a stethoscope, all right? I could go on and on with analogies. You don't show up with one tool, all right? You show up with all the tools you need to get your job done, all right? So I'm showing up with quite a few tools ready to go, all right? The one thing that I will also say with preparing is making sure you know these strategies very, very well. All right, make sure you know them very, very well because you don't know when you're gonna to need to whip out a certain strategy. So make sure you have them in your head, you know what the bet levels look like, and you're ready to go when you are at the table. All right, so strategy number one, one of my typical go-tos, all right, is going to be $60, don't pass. All right, with the $60, don't pass, once a point established, Say it's a five, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go grab the six and the eight for $30, all right? The six, seven, eight. It's nothing crazy, all right? Six, seven, eight. If 
the six or the eight is the point, all right, I hug the point. So if the point's the six, I'm grabbing the five. If the point is the eight, I'm grabbing the nine. All right, obviously I won't leave the cap out there. I will take that back and just have a quarter on it. Then I look to press and stuff from there um, and see what happens. But this is usually my go-to trying to feel out the table, see what's going on. All right, I have a little bit of light side, I have a little bit of dark side action. I'm ready to go. Uh, for myself, when I'm the shooter, oh, one other thing too I want to mention, uh, the table minimums on the cruise, from what I've been hearing, they're I think they're around the $10 range. All right, so that'll be actually really nice for me because... I don't have that very often here at home, all right? My casinos, the lowest you usually see is 15, so it's nice to see a $10 table. So that will also uh, bring out some more tools in my tool belt. Um, next strategy though is the Skill 66, all right? One of my favorites of all time, to be honest with you. Um, I think this is one of the best strategies out there, in my opinion. Um, 66 inside, right? One hit will pay 21. All right, we're gonna drop a dollar from our rack. We're gonna press 22 inside. All right, next hit, we'll pay 28 on whatever number it is. All right, and we're gonna drop down to 44 inside. And we are paid for at this point, All right? So then you can press collect as you please. All right, but that is another strategy that I will be playing. Um, so the skill 66, that's what that is. So again, six, seven, eight so far, skill 66. All right, we have some dark, we have some fully light side action going. Uh, the next strategy that I will be playing as well is my triple threat. All right, the D-Gen triple threat. Um, I usually play that on myself or if there's you know a shooter. The thing is with the crews, right? You're probably gonna see the same people a lot of the time at the table, especially the regulars, you're gonna see a lot of them. I've been on cruises before, I've played with the same people almost every single night. All right, so I'll be able to really qualify their shooting ability. So will I only play the DJ and triple throw on myself? No. Will I play it on others? It's possible, I gotta see what, what they do, all right? So DJ and triple threat, um, I've made a few videos on this. Uh, it's gonna look like 118 across, and I'm gonna be playing the variation that I put up um, about a month ago, I want to say, with the pressing that's involved. All right, so the original triple threat, I just went for three hits at this level and didn't do anything else. Uh, for this level, right, I'm going to be pressing the inside bets. Now, the reason I press the insides is because I tend not to roll a ton of fours and tens with my set, but I do roll them, but I don't roll them a whole lot. All right, so the pressing looks like 22 pressure inside. I got that from the skill 66, all right? So I'm gonna be pressing 22 inside on the first hit. I'll be pressing uh, 22 inside on the second hit. On that third hit, I'll pull down everything and go to maybe a 96 across, maybe, well, since it is a $10 table, I don't have to go 96 across. I could go 64 across, uh, things like that. So this is, again, the table minimums, right? I can do a little bit more with a lower level, lower level table. So. 64 across, maybe 44 inside. Um, who knows, right? You guys know I like to pull down my money and regress. So that will be another strategy that I am bringing with me, uh, ready to go in my head, locked up. Um, if the table is really, really dark, right? If the table is really, really dark, obviously Greg from 555 and the 555 don't, all right? Five to six ratio of don't bet to odds. So I might go quarter on the don't pass, $30 in odds. All right, that's if the table's really dark. Maybe I'll grab some light side numbers depending, but if the table's really, really dark and I'm going dark, uh, that is what I will do. So that's another one. Uh, the Velveteen Rabbit, I know some people like it, some people hate it. Um, I will probably play that on the casino, uh, on the cruise. Again, depending on what the table's giving me. I love the Rabbit though. Um, and I'm gonna be playing it this might be a little bit high for the minimum, but I'm gonna be playing it at the $50 lay level with a 320 across bet, all right? So $50 lay, if that gets knocked, then we're gonna go up for 320 across. Um, if you guys, I'm just setting this stuff up so people who don't know these things can see them out a little bit better and kind of gain um, maybe a little bit more uh, knowledge of how these work. 
because again, this is a quick video. I'm not trying to make it super long. So fifty dollar lay, three twenty across. If the lay gets knocked, the three twenty turns on. If the lay doesn't get knocked, I'm just collecting on the seven, and I'm a happy boy. All right. So that is another one. And uh, finally, actually, there's two more strategies I might play. So I've been really interested in this YOLO type strategy, which I'm actually going to be making a video on, uh, which will be out when I'm on vacation. Uh, but I'll give you a quick high level overview of it. Um, it's going to start with an across bet, go for one hit. After that across bet, we're going to uh, go for a lay on the four and the 10 or the five and the nine. You can really take your pick. Uh, I'm probably going to pick the five and the nine. John from Procraps has me liking the lay on the five and nine a lot recently. So I'm going to be going on the lay on the five and nine, just betting the six and the eight. It's going to turn into a sort of six, seven, eight. But um, so I'll make a video on that though. It'll be out while I'm on my trip. Um, and I haven't recorded it yet, but I'm going to be recording it actually after this video that I'm recording right now. So that strategy will be out. And then also the next strategy will also be out. I know I've been teasing it for a while. Greg's been teasing it for a while. It's going to be the hybrid that Greg and I came up with. All right. So that will be out soon. Um, and again, that will be with me. So what am I bringing with me? Envelopes and obviously cash in the envelopes. All right, ready to go. So we have our budget out there. I'm um, gonna be bringing the 678 as one of my mains, the Skill 66, the D-Gen Triple Threat, the Velveteen Rabbit, this uh, newer YOLO type, and then, um, so again, cross bet, coming in with a lay and then covering some numbers as well. It's a hybrid type strategy, but it starts out with a sort of YOLO bet and then the new hybrid that Greg and I have been working on. So that's like six or seven strategies. Obviously, I know a lot more strategies than just those six. If I need to bring one of those out, I will, and I will let you guys know what I am playing. All right, don't forget, there will be um, some trip report updates on like a regular basis, I wanna say. Again, it depends on how my internet's doing and stuff and uh, what I can get out there. There will be videos posted while I'm away. All right, so um, don't worry. I will have content coming out for you guys. But uh, I will try to post some daily reports. And then at the end when I'm back, uh, I'm going to put a whole vacation vlog together. So you get to see the vacation aspect of it, like some things we did. Uh, we have a lot of things planned. So uh, you'll get to see that. And then there will also be trip reports and casino updates in that video so that will be uh, put up once I'm back I'll probably start working on it on the plane ride home uh, but that's it guys all right so that's what I'm doing for my cruise that is the strategies I'm playing that's how I plan on attacking these things and uh, let me know what you guys think all right again this video is out I am on the boat right now all right so hopefully I'm at the casino right now when this video is out hopefully I'm doing well all right and uh, Guys, root the D-Gen on, all right? Hope we do well in the casino. If you guys are playing the casino, I hope you guys have a wonderful experience and you guys do well, and uh, I appreciate all you guys watching, all right? Don't forget, guys, everybody has a little D-Gen in them, and I will see you all real soon. Peace.